Welcome to an introduction to the JavaScript HTML5 APIs. This is an intensive video course which teaches you how to write modern web-based applications. Now we assume you know a little JavaScript and have programmed before. The tutorials here expand on your knowledge so you'll know how to use and interact with various browser application programming interfaces. Now this course has been created by a web developer with almost 20 years experience. It assumes you have some knowledge of HTML, CSS, JavaScript and general web concepts. But if you understand those basics, you can jump right into any chapter and learn about the technologies and techniques as you need them. There are more than 43 videos about separate HTML5 topics. We delve straight in and write demonstration code. There are simple tests and exercises throughout. And we even create useful code that you can import into your own development projects. Put it all together and you will understand HTML5 and the APIs it provides. So we'll be looking at what HTML5 actually is. That's the technology itself and the term HTML5, which has been hijacked by large IT companies and the mainstream media to mean anything cool which happens in a browser. We discover what JavaScript APIs are and how you can use them. We delve into the document object model, which allows you to add, modify or remove any items on your web page. We look at event handling and we discuss what types of event you can define, handler functions, and topics such as propagation. We then apply this knowledge to HTML forms to show you how you can implement client-side validation and create your own custom input controls. Now the custom input controls we create include a password strength checker, which ensures your users enter a strong password. We then look at timers and browser animation to show you how elements can be moved around the page. We examine AJAX techniques and we discover how you can load data from a server and display it without needing a full page refresh. We examine various data formats and the techniques you can use to implement AJAX technology. Following this, we look at up and coming HTML5 technologies that will change people's perceptions about what a browser can and cannot do. The first is native HTML audio and video. We discuss how you can include media on your page without a plugin and control it using whichever controls you like. We then look at the canvas element. Now this is a very fast programmable image which can be used for HTML5 games, image manipulation and animation which would have been impossible a few years ago. This leads us on to scalable vector graphics. It's an often overlooked technology but it's incredibly powerful and is ideal for logos, charts and animated effects. If you think that's useful, you'll love geolocation, which allows the browser to determine your location, altitude, direction, and speed. It's obviously ideal for mobile web applications, but there are many other uses. We follow this with the File API, which allows you to drag and drop files into your browser, analyze them, and upload them to a server. We then look at Web Workers, which is a way to implement separate processing threads in JavaScript. It means you can do long and complex calculations without the browser becoming unresponsive or showing script alerts. This is followed with several lessons about storing data in the browser. We start with cookies and progress to client-side local and session storage techniques. This is followed with a lesson about making an HTML5 application work offline, even when there's no internet connection. We discuss how you can detect when the browser goes offline and what you can do when it occurs. We then wrap up with a lesson about manipulating the browser history so you can ensure that your browser's back and forward buttons work even when your application is running from a single web page. We finish with several lessons which describe how to use the developer tools in Firefox, Safari, Chrome, Opera and Internet Explorer. We discuss the features of each one and look at advanced topics such as setting breakpoints, stepping through code, defining watch variables and using the call stack. We also take a brief look at JavaScript utility libraries, which smooth out the inconsistencies of browser API implementations. They let you do more with less code, but we discuss when they should and shouldn't be relied upon. We also look at several specialized libraries such as Backbone.js, jQuery UI, Box2D, 3, and Impact, which can help you with your coding structures, interfaces, real world physics, three dimensional manipulation, and writing games. 
there's also a lesson about creating your own shims. Now, in essence, we use JavaScript to plug the holes in certain browsers. In that lesson, we implement the JSON, Stringify, and Parse methods in Internet Explorer 6 and 7, even though they're not natively supported. It means our application can assume those methods exist whether they are or not. And of course, we finish with a roundup of the most important and useful sites on the web, which will help you develop HTML5 applications. So as you can see, we cover a lot of ground. Now, any of the chapters can be viewed in isolation. So for example, if you're interested in adding video to your web pages, you could skip that lesson and it won't matter that you haven't covered topics such as forms, timers, Ajax and geolocation. So I hope you find it useful, interesting and fun. Above all, I hope it makes you a great JavaScript browser programmer so you can avoid all the mistakes I made in my first few years using the language. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, feel free to send me a message on Twitter or see the last chapter for my full contact details. Best of luck, have fun, and I look forward to hearing from you.